there. But away from that, we now come back to studio and train our focus to our last conversation of the day. We now want to talk about basically what happens at the police service, but not getting to detail of that, but understanding how the wives of police officers cope. And uh, this is the National Police Wives Association, NAPOA. Um, the ladies are here. They'll be just helping us understand the challenges, um, how they cope. We have had different and instances of uh, um, murder cases, suicide cases. So we also look into that and basically just what it means to be a wife of a police officer in this country. To my extreme left is uh, Gladys Mesache, who is a family um, counselor. Right next to her is Beryl Otieno, who's the country director. And right next to me, is Ann Owiti, who is the national chair lady, all of them coming from the National Police Wives Association. Welcome to the program, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank, Thank you for having us. And I was just saying that I share a name with you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Owiti. But anyway, let's, um, let me start actually with you, Anne. And I just want to understand um, Napoa, when it was formed and the mandate of this association. Okay. Thank you so much for having us. Uh -huh. And uh, good morning, Kenya. Well, uh, NAPOA was uh, registered. Actually, we are registered with the Kenyan government. Mm -hmm. It was registered in 2014. Mm -hmm. And uh, our greatest mandate mm -hmm. is to be able to bring the poli wives of officers together. Number one, for empowerment. We say empowerment economically and socially. Mm -hmm. Economically, because uh, you find that uh, many of us are not employed mm -hmm. and so we have uh, this merry-go-rounds mm -hmm. that we can uh, we have so it helps us in uh, boosting our businesses or even starting for those who do not who, who do not have any businesses they're doing mm -hmm. and then socially because uh, the kind of life that I live as an officer's wife only another officer's wife can understand so we are here as a support system for each other mm -hmm. support system in that uh, Depending on uh, where our husbands are posted and depending on the kind of work they are doing, it is only another wife that can be able to understand what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. Because many a times we found ourselves raising the children alone because our husbands are somewhere kichakani. <laughs> yeah, many the other times. Of the work. Yeah, just the nature of the work. And you know, uh, security has got to be provided for Kenyans. Yeah. yeah, so as we normally say, we are the hearts behind the uniform yeah mm -hmm. well said and i was just seeing beryl as well as glad is agreeing <laughs> when, when you're saying that you know um when it comes to a police officer's wife it is only another police officer's wife yeah. who can understand yes. agreeing strongly yes what is this yeah that is very true because uh, this is a sisterhood uh -huh. it's only w all of us that un understand exactly what is happening. Mm -hmm. And it is through sharing of our problems and, 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 and predicaments gives us that way of giving us the, the support that each one of us deserves. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and most of the time, even talking about our problems, because as, as Napoa, we have different WhatsApp groups to, to just provide support, support for one another. Mm -hmm. and, this one, uh, and this one also goes up to the county levels and all nationwide. Mm -hmm. And so Napoa act as, as, as a support system, not only for the officers and also for the wives of, of, of the police officers. Mm -hmm. Yes, hence providing that the support system that is much needed. Okay, I hear you. Yes. And Gladys, you are a family counselor. Yes. So kwa hiki kundi, ama in this association, your biggest role ni nini haswa? Yeah, my biggest role is to, to, to look for the families to be stable. Ya kama mama anapitia halingumu na mze, inakuja, inawasaidia. Kwa maana mimi tena nipatanishi wanapo wachana na ruti na wapatanisha mm -hmm. ndiyo wasi wachane mm -hmm. kwa maana family ni mama mm -hmm. mama si wache ndoa yake juu ya mambo ambayo anasikia kutoka kwa ingine mm -hmm. chami mingi hufunjika ama familia hufunjika kwa ajili ya kusikia mambo mengi ya kutoka inje lakini kama mimi na si mama ikisha uri wa mama wawese kushikilia waze wao ninawapea tumaini and now a pair moyo 
wa kufumiliana. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So ha mama ambao wewe huwa unawapatia niseme advice ili waanze kushikilia familia yeah. wako tu hapa kwa hii association. Wako tu kwa hii association saingine yule ambaye anahitaji advice nampe advice yule anataka guidance nampe guidance na yule ambaye anataka ushauri na mshauri ninashauri mm -hmm. wakiwa pamoja na ofisa kwa maana mimi tena ni mchungaji mm -hmm. e, niko na kanisa ambayo ninachunga Harambe Estate mm -hmm. nikiwa pamoja na mume wangu ninasaidia kutoka pande zote za Kenya sio Nairobi peke yake mm -hmm. bali ninatumikia wa Kenya wote mm -hmm wa uniformed nimepata nafasi ya kufikia wale ambao wako makeresa pia nikakutana na familia zao nikakutana na wafungwa ninaenda hapo kuna maofisa wako hapo ndani ninaenda hapo ninawasaidia na washauri ninawapea moyo na wapea tumaini Mm -hmm. yeah. Well said. I mean, ladies, I want us to take a very quick breather, but when we circle back, we also look at this merry-go-round. Mm -hmm. Who are in a VP? How do you sustain it in terms of also finances? And again, what it means and it takes to be the wife of a police officer. So even as you marinate on that one, let's take that breather. I'm still here with my guest. Of course, after this break, we continue this conversation. So stay with us. Welcome back to the program. We continue our pace with this uh, conversation, still holding court with my guest. That is uh, uh, Gladys Mesache. To my extreme left who is a family councillor. Right next to her is Barry Lotieno, the country director, and also Anne Owiti, the national chair lady. All of them coming from the National Police Wives Association. And I'm just looking at some of these challenges that wives of police officers face and how to move around them and navigate them at the end of the day. So before we took that break, I was picking up with you on this one Anne, on that particular merry-go-round that you talked about which is one of those initiatives in the association mm -hmm. so maybe to tuambie this merry-go-round um, how does it work how do you go about it how do you visit you know all these wives because they're quite a number yeah they're yeah. quite a number uh -huh. but merry-go-rounds uh -huh. we have several oh okay. several we have a lot of chamas <laughs> There are those that we do online mm -hmm. and online actually have uh, members from all over the country because uh, I think within us, there's that trust issue. We mm -hmm. trust each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you find, uh, as a member in Nairobi, yeah. I'll be able to receive money from a member in Voi, for example. Mm -hmm. We have never met. But just the fact that we are police wives, we are in the same association. Already you trust each we other trust just each other. because... Eh? We trust each other. So we have several. We have um, online, as, as, as I've said, and then now we have uh, something we are calling Napoa Machinani. Mm -hmm. Napoa Machinani are the small, small groups of uh, women depending on where they are. So we have grouped them depending on where they are. So in those ones as well, you find we have chamas. And uh, those ones now, all these chamas depends, depending on a particular group, whichever amount they've decided to be giving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you see that uh, the importance of these chamas is to be able to help this lady to be able to have something to start up her business. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, chamas of several denominations. In fact, there's a... Uh, there, there are some we call Bamba 20. Mm. Bamba 20 is where you give 20 bob per day. At the end of the month, you have something you can... So it caters for everyone. It caters for everyone. From 20 to 30 to 50 to 100 to 1,000 to 500 per week. So we have various chamas. Mm -hmm. Provided you are our member, because we want to include each and every one of us so that someone doesn't feel I cannot afford 500 shillings per week. Mm -hmm. If you cannot afford 500 shillings per week, maybe you can afford a thousand per month mm -hmm. or maybe you can afford that bumper 20. It is 20 bob per day. Yeah, so the goodness is that we've seen several businesses coming up as a result of these chamas. Mm -hmm. And then we also have another one, a major one we call Napoa Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Napoa Kitchen is where we have uh, again several chamas and a Napoa Kitchen where you receive your money and all you do with this money is either buy foodstuffs or kitchen stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've seen the faces 
of our fundies when they come home and they find the pantry is filled. Mm. So you, they don't have to worry about they that? They don't have to worry about food for a whole month. Yeah. Because those are the small, small things that add to their stresses. Okay. Yeah, so when food is in the house, even the lady is at peace. Mm -hmm. Because whenever the children come, there's something to serve them. Mm -hmm. Whenever a fundie comes in, we call them a fundie mm -hmm. for viewers. Even in the house? Yeah. <laughs> no, in the house we have different, different names oh. for them. Yeah, but uh, you find that now when uh, even a fundie comes, mm -hmm. you're able to welcome him with a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. For him to relax. Because as Napoa we say, we want to build a conducive environment for this officer. Mm -hmm. When the home is conducive enough, mm -hmm. there's much more he can be able to do. Because remember, this is someone who's out on the road, yeah. he's out at work, and uh, depending on where he is, uh, there's a lot of stigma mm -hmm. by just the fact that he's a man in a uniform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we want to help our members that by the time this man is coming home, I, from where I'm sitting or standing, or I'm the one opening that door, mm -hmm. I can be able to read his mood. Mm -hmm. To be able to, in fact, we say, when he comes home with stress, mm -hmm. this is the soft landing. Mm -hmm. This is the safe heaven. Mm -hmm. It is a safe heaven, yes, mm -hmm. but it is also a soft so, landing. Okay. We get to face the wrath mm -hmm. of the stress he comes with. So, <laughs> if I open the door for him and get to read his mood, yeah. I can know how to handle the situation. Okay. So that he doesn't come with his own stress and then finds me with stress. I'm also pouring my stress on him. Mm -hmm. Kutalipuka. Yeah. Yeah. Kutalipuka. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No, what this is this informs why we need this association. Yes. Mm -hmm. Especially now because we have witnessed such numerous cases of yeah. such. Mm -hmm. Also because maybe someone does not really know how to handle how to handle at yes. the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So then Beryl someone would ask, why mm -hmm. have so many chamas? You know, Anna's mm -hmm. talked about quite a number of them. Mm -hmm. Of course also in different different denominations would mm -hmm. make sense. But Ninyingi to Sana. Why? Why is that important? And before I even as, uh, answer your question, yeah. there's also the aspect of welfare in those chamas. Okay. So that when one of us is sick or a child gets sick, we are able to come up as a family and contribute a little, a, a little something to yeah. buy drugs. This is as the, as the wives, eh? Yes, as the wives. Right. And also when one, of, when one of our kids graduate or when one of us graduates, because the perception out there is that even the police officer's wife don't go to school. Mm -hmm. We also go to school to upgrade mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. Even our husbands go to school. Yeah. It is not the D material that is out there. Yeah. So and we'll come to that. We'll come to that. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> we need to address that. Today. Yes, yes, yes. So there's also that aspect of welfare. Mm -hmm. So that, you, and, and, and I've said it is graduation, uh, it is birthday parties. We also celebrate that mm -hmm. because many a times we'll find that birthday happens when the hub is not around. Mm -hmm. And so as I said, Nepal is a family affair. It is a family affair for police wives so that we are able to celebrate. And we are also able to celebrate our husbands wherever they are. We record messages, we send to them, mm -hmm. and they also feel like they are also part of their family, mm -hmm. which never used to happen. And that has also brought a lot of love in the family. Even wherever he is in Isiolo, wherever he is in Mount Mandela, when you do a post a video of a birthday party of, 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 of maybe your kids or, or, or maybe yourself, it gives him hope that as much as he's not around with the family, everything is going on fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've asked why, why so many chamas? Yeah. Why so many chamas depends depends on the fi financial background of, of, of police wives. Mm -hmm. As uh, the chairs has rightly mentioned, most of them are financially destabilized. And so that is why we've put it in, in, in different categories, mm -hmm. in different categories so that nobody will say that they're left out. Mm -hmm. There are people who can afford 20 shillings per day. There are people who can afford 100 bob. They can, there are people who can afford 500. There's also one for land where people are, are, are contributing 2,000. Mm -hmm. And so that is very, very important for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And that also addresses the question of why we customize chama so that everybody feels on, uh, mm -hmm. on board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody feels that they are left out. Mm -hmm. So you yes. fix yourself where you where you are comfortable. Where, comfortable. where you are comfortable. Mm -hmm. Because as a matter of fact, our main objective is to bring everybody on board despite your financial uh, leanings. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well explained. Yes. Gladys, much as you do the counseling, how are the wives of, of police officers, for all this time, we make fanya nini haswa kiini cha what we normally report and witness all the time. Yeah, kile wa mama wana pitia sisi ma bibi ama afande yale mengi ambayo wana pitia unapata afanda mekuche nyumbani akona stress 
Mama naye ameachwa na watoto akana stress. Mama ametoka akaenda sokoni akakutana na raia wakamutusi kwa maana wanamjua yeye ni pipi ya afwande wanamwambia wewe unakuja nini huku na afwande wanakuja na pesa kwa nyumba ambayo wamenyang'anya mm. sasa mama anakuwa na stress anaona afadhali awachane na huyo bwana sasa wanapofika kwangu ninawaelezea hiyo hiyo iko kawaida lakini kama mama unasimama maana wewe ndiye nyumba wewe ndio unashikilia huyu mwanamume hata anapokuja mwanamume ako na stress wewe ni mama mshikilia hasa wale ambao wameoleka juzi maana mimi nimekaa kwa ndoa miaka 29 ninaelewa changamoto zote nimekuja kuungana na napoa ili niweze kusaidia young couples kwa maana hawa ni wasichana ambao wameoleka wengine wamekuja wakapata mwanamume ambaye hata hachielewi yeye ni nani sasa sisi kama wamama ninawaelezea ni ye, ni wewe mumama uchielewe wewe ni nani katika hiyo nyumba wewe ndiyo mama wewe ndiyo nashikilia watoto wewe ndiyo jamii kubwa mzaa anapokuja akitoka kasi amepata stress mingi huko maana huwa nina interact na polisi wenyewe tuko na wamama ambao ni maaskari tuko na wazaa ambao ni maaskari ile nilisema nimeenda prison makereza nimefika hapo changamoto ambayo tunapata kwa polisi iko kwa prison iko kwa CSU iko kwa cheshi hao wanawake wote tunapitia changamoto changamoto ambayo inafanana wanapokuja kwangu ninawaelezea nina vile wanawatakana wakae kila mmoja ninamshauri kulingana vile ameleta maneno yake kwangu yote haifanani kwa maana kuna yule ambayo mzaa komandera na wamekosania kwa simu anapokucha kwangu ninamshauri anajielewa anajijua yeye ni nani ninapikia mume wake simu ninaongea na yeye kwa simu anajua yeye ni nani na ninaweza kuwashauri wote wawili wanakubaliana uh -huh. na wanaruti pamoja uh -huh. ya, tena ninawashauri wasione hiyo pesa kidogo wako nayo inaweza kuwapeleka mahali yule ambaye hawezi kufanya kazi ninamshauri aweze kufungua biashara ndogo mm -hmm. na hiyo biashara ndogo kama hana pesa hii chama ambayo tumeelezea chama ameelezea ndio huwa inafanya inainua mwanamke ambayo ni mke wa askari asimame aanze biashara ndogo katikati yetu kuna wale ambao wanafanya biashara kubwa wanaenda nje wanaleta muziko wanauza na kuna wengine tunawashauri hata kama ni kuuza viazi kwa barabara hata kama ni kuuza mboka apate pesa ambayo atasaidia afwane mm -hmm. yeah. kwa hivyo jambo kubwa kabisa ni the issue of stress ndio inafanya kuko na hizi yeah. cases nyingi tunaspata tunasikia pana pale suicide cases ya yeah, ni stress ndio huyo inafanya mm -hmm. sasa kama mama mzee kialapo enda kasi yao wako na stress mingi huko kwa maana for, kwa sub, for example when an officer goes somewhere where there is an accident okay they are uh, they are picking the remnants na hiyo anakuwa traumatized mm -hmm. anapokuja nyumbani ako na hiyo stress anaona hiyo mwili ambayo ilikuwa imepondwa na karela moshi ambayo ilikuwa imepondwa na gari unapata wako na stress mingi na wakipata muke ambaye amesimama vizuri akachijua yeye ni nani na yeye anaposikana na ofisa nitakana afanye nini na waelezea vile nitakana wakae katika ndoa wale maafande maana hawa wa maafande wanatuhitaji hawa wa mama ambao wamefaa uniform wanatuhitaji maana sisi ni dada zao kama mimi ninachukua jamii mzima ninashauri huyu askari mumama na shauri huyu askari mubaba na shauri watoto wao kwa maana watoto wanakuja mahali wanafika mahali wanaona wameachwa na baba yao ama mama yao And I like the way you nice say so who uh, shauri ama counseling si specifically to the wives of the police officers it actually does cut across to the officers themselves mpaka yeah. watoto wao yeah. you know, i mean the children yeah. the children <laughs> i should say <laughs> can i emphasize yes, something yes, yes. On, on what ladies are just saying yeah. when you look at the napo executive mm -hmm. we are we are members who have been in marriage for the last 27 or, or, or 30 years mm -hmm. which is a great milestone <laughs> yes that is a imagine. very good milestone yeah. and that one also help us to now to guide the young generation yeah. that nobody prepares you to be a police officer mm -hmm. you must have patience you must have tolerance you must have the stigma because many a times you are going to be alone when you need the most mm -hmm. and so when you are a police officer you must also learn how you, you, your husband 
like the moment he walks in that door you should be able to know how his day was like mm -hmm. even before him saying anything before him saying yes, anything are you being a prophetess at this point <laughs> knowing how we, okay i can tell you know obviously especially also as women yeah mm. you know mm. in respect also how god created us yes, you can always yes. like i don't know how to put it mm -hmm. you can always foresee something you can always tell yes. but then also i mean very yes. last of journey and we are yes. supposed to be knowing how your day was mm. also. and that is why we say the the chair say that as police women we are unique oh yeah that she actually did mention yes that is a skill that you have to learn mm. so okay. that by the time he walks in you you have to know how you are going to handle him mm -hmm. even if you are going to ask the kids to step aside and now give him that attention that he needs mm -hmm. so that he feels comfortable to share his day. Mm -hmm. And many at times it's just a question of how is how is your day? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because maybe it's from a postmortem. Mm. Yeah. yeah, just as Gladys said. Yes, observer. just as Gladys said, mm. he's from a postmortem, he's from a scene of accident. Mm -hmm. And you are there, he's, he's, he's walking in, and you're busy watching TV, he doesn't give that you're attention. Busy cooking he doesn't, here. Yes, watching uh, these funny, funny pro programs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that is also our major point. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we visit those camps, we sit these ladies down and, 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 and let them understand that being married to a police officer needs you to understand understand your husband very very important mm -hmm. very very important mm -hmm. so that you can also help him understand where he's coming from mm -hmm. yes there's a question that my director has just posed in my ear and i can't ask because it's not within you oh. <laughs> within your purview <laughs> to respond to that but mm -hmm. i mean and so just mm -hmm. listening to what um Beryl is saying mm -hmm. gladys is saying mm -hmm. i mean mm -hmm. so then mm -hmm. does anyone prepare one to be a police officer's wife you know because i mean by the time you're getting ready to get married of course there are this um, marital classes you'll go through if it's mm. in a you are you're you are in a church yes. you'll definitely go through that yes. if you're not someone who goes to church you, there's the place you can get this counseling if you're someone who believes into that mm. but then in addition to that mm. In respect to being a police officer's wife, because just as all of you have said, sometimes we mm -hmm. talk Nairobi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some have even gone like the soldiers, gone to DRC mm -hmm. for the next one year, six mm -hmm. months. So the, does one prepare you, or you just learn while you are in the marriage? Uh, as I normally say, we learn on the job. You mm -hmm. learn on the job. Mm -hmm. Personally, mm -hmm. uh, I've been married for 18 years now. Mm -hmm. 18 years, I went through premarital counseling. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was prepared on to be a wife. Like a way down the yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. I was prepared fully to be a wife, mm -hmm. but not an officer's wife. <laughs> <laughs> no one taught you how to do this? Because uh, mm -hmm. no one knows. Mm -hmm. In fact, I thank God for Napoa now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can, you know, the experience we have here, the three of us, uh, yeah. is an experience yeah. and yeah. a half. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah? mm -hmm. we get to real life story. experience. We have 18 you years. In fact, I'm the youngest. This is 18? Mm -hmm. 18. I know 29 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. yeah. 27. Hey. I'm the youngest. Mm. Mm. God bless you all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So mm. you find that uh, no one actually prepares us mm. to be officers' wives. Okay. Mm. And you know, the reason why you get shocked mm. is that it is not what you expected. Mm -hmm. It is totally not what you expected yeah. because uh, you're prepared to be a wife. Mm -hmm. What to do when your husband comes home? Yeah. Mm. You need to have mm. his food ready, mm. maybe warm water for bathing and all that. Mm -hmm. And so here you marry a man, mm -hmm. you have no idea atakuja sangapi. Ama atakama atakuja. That's the thing. So, and you know, in, in this generation of ours, mm -hmm. I mean, kama mm -hmm. upuji, we, we. This odd. You know? Yeah, mm -hmm. so you find uh, utangoja, because kama kuku ofisi, let's mm -hmm. assume a kuku ofisi, mm -hmm. there are those times you can predict, say ni masaya yake ya kutoka. Mm -hmm. But unaona aneza kwa anatoka kuku ofisi, mm -hmm. and then, mm -hmm. Anachotwa, tunasemanka anachotwa. Mm. Mm. Something comes up. Mm. People have got to go. So he goes. Mm. So wo kwa hapo, unangalio na imagine kwa nila mepitia wapi. Mm. Mm. So those are the things that actually, if mm. us as wise we don't understand, mm. atakuwa nyingia kwa ile nyumba na mm. pop. Na no, unalipuka. Unalipuka. Mm. Not really. Na epi ya ametoka milipukiwa. That's the thing. <laughs> Not really understanding, mm. ametoka wapi. Mm. And you know, the reason why we say, Ukimfungulia mlango, you've got to read mm. his face. Mm. This is somebody I know. Mm. I've lived with mm. for many years. This is someone you can read the mood. Mm. So as wise, I think we have more responsibility. Mm. Because remember, mm -hmm. scientists say, mm. as women, we talk a lot. Mm. Mm. 
So I can be alone in the house mm. washing dishes and I'm talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you're mm -hmm. feeling good about you're it. You're feeling good about it. In fact, we, rel we relieve our stress yeah. through yeah. that. That's true. It's yeah, true. but you, you see, mm. yeah, I'm in gear. Mm. He's so disturbed, mm. he wants to keep to himself. Mm. Mm. So what does that do? He'll keep to himself tomorrow again, wake mm. up, go to work. Mm. So the stress mm. are just yes, filing. Mm. So with time, mm. bomb. time bomb. Okay, now it makes sense mm. why we have been hearing these cases. Mm. So it now goes back to, I, I mean, it feels like you, you bear the biggest mm. burden <laughs> of all this yeah. at the end of the day. Mm. Because, okay, wow. Mm. Whew. It's quite <laughs> interesting. It is, it is. Mm. But we are trying. We are mm. trying. We are. So yeah. really no one prepares you for this. You learn mm. on it. Mm. So then for the youngs, I mean, you, you say 27. Yeah, 27 years. At least you've known your person, you've known your husband over time. I mean, 20 plus years is quite a long time. Of course, yes. they say also, I mean, mm. in, uh, what is this called? In psychology, you can't mm. know a person fully, fully. because mm. change mm. is the only thing constant. People mm. evolve over yeah. time. Mm. But also for being mm. young, pers young uh, couples coming mm. to marriage, mm. either married to a police officer or both mm. of them are officers, mm. how do you train them to start mm. reading their husbands? Mm. <laughs> Because I want to believe this is part of what also what you do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because number one, they have to accept that uh, the life of a police officer is not just uh, like a life of any other husband. Mm -hmm. Like maybe it will be your birthday, you want to be taken out, it's not going to be there. Mm -hmm. Maybe you won't even remember that it's your birthday. You can imagine that's already a big issue. Yeah. It's an issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The kind, of, uh, the kind of, of, of lifestyle that you want, maybe the good things in life, these are not going to happen instant. It's mm -hmm. going to be a process. Mm -hmm. And if I thought it's going to happen, then it's going to come through a loan, mm -hmm. which he has to pay for all these years. So are you able to make that sacrifice? So also, one of the things we also train them is to manage the expectations. Mm -hmm. Because really, it, it has to come from a point of love. Mm -hmm. If I told you love this officer, then are you ready? Are you ready to take this journey? Mm -hmm. Some of the things, maybe some of the expectations that you see in other police officers are not going to happen. Because they come from different backgrounds. Yeah. We have two officers that maybe they, they, were, they were employed on the same year, but one has other responsibilities. Maybe his mom was a widow, maybe he's the first board. So mm -hmm. the moment he, get, he gets his salary, he also has to take care of his, the other siblings. Mm -hmm. The other one has both parents and that are well off. Mm -hmm. So most likely he'll get his salary, he's able to afford a good life. Mm -hmm. Are you always going to compare yourself to the other families? Mm -hmm. So as a wife, do you really love this man and are you really ready to take to to to, to, to experience patience mm -hmm. yeah are you also ready to take up the mantle when he's around you are going to be needed to, uh, at, 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 at the school when he's not there mm -hmm. are you able to stand up as a parent of that of that child or, or or since the husband is not there you're not going to try to attend parents day mm -hmm. so these are the kind of things that we we we, we, we nurture them to start accepting from a very, very young age. Mm -hmm. So that, number one, they manage the expectation. Number two, it has to come from the place of love. Mm -hmm. Number three, some things may take time. Something may, some things may never happen at all. And especially on the, on the, on the, on the good life. Because we, we, we are a society that looks at things and we start admiring. Mm -hmm. yeah? And so maybe her case is different. And that's also her. just how women are wired. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But again, when it comes to, po to police officers, it's different. Mm -hmm. It is different. You have to manage your expectations. Mm -hmm. Because now, the moment I start comparing my husband with Anne's husband, uh, it will always bring chaos. Yeah. Yeah. And again, it, is, it will also affect his ego as a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you start comparing him with other people. Mm -hmm. So that is our, our, our main objective. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is why Inapower exists, mm -hmm. for that support system and also to reach out to the young families. Mm -hmm. So that also we bring down the, the numbers of suicide and, 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 and the family feuds and yeah. the GBV yeah. that happens yeah. a lot. Mainly, it's mainly because of communication. Mm -hmm. So breakdown. it goes back to communication. Yeah, mm. breakdown. So stress is there. Yeah. High rates of suicide cases is yes. there. GBV, mm, 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 but it still boils down to communication. To their VP. Yes, mm. yes, How we yes, communicate. Yes. How do we approach our men? Okay. How do we approach our uniform men? Yeah. As the wives. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, uh, Gladys, he jumbled a communication because again, also you realize, just marriage is cutting across. Mm. Regardless, communication is always one of those biggest um, issues. Now, na skavili ambavyo berila na sema pia, much as tunongelea 
mm -hmm. in terms of data and statistics mm -hmm. that the suicide cases, mm -hmm. cases of GBV, murder cases, mm -hmm. you know, amongst police police officers, but in a aspect of communication. Who may go hapo twenty nine years? Yeah, I'm going to nine years. To me, I that comes a communication bit of it and how you've managed it all. Nikio Nikio Leka, si kuoleka kwa police. Nio Nio Leka kwa mutuhana chochote. To kapata mtoto wa kwanza. To ki usa mamboka mboka hizo. Lakini to ka manage. Aka ingia kikosi. Aka niwacha na mimba ya ya piri. Wakati wa kuna simu kama saisi, akiwa kikanjo, we uko nyumbani ya ujua na endale aje, ajui mimba na endale aje, ninalala njaa ama ninakula, lakini mimi nilikuwa na chiamini, maana nikitoka kwetu, nilijua ninaoleka. Na kuenda kuoleka ni kuoleka, nimeoleka kwa mwanamume, sichaoleka kwa chakula ama amali. Kakuja akaingia kikanjo, katoka hapo, kaenda karisa, kanichukua tukaenda At this point uko wapi? Akienda Garissa? Nilikuwa nyumbani hoshako. Mm. Niko na watoto wawili sasa. Kaenda Garissa, akakuja akanichukua. Kasema kama ninakufia Northeastern nitakufa na familia yangu. Mm -hmm. Na ninapenda huyo afande. Mm -hmm. Kwa maana ali risk. Hakuna askari alikuwa naishi na bibi. Tuliishi, tukapata third bone tukiwa Garissa kama chaokoka mimi nilikuwa nimeokoka mm -hmm. yeye alikuwa anaenda kama yeso kiasi <laughs> lakini nilikuwa na imani mimi ni mama wa imani hata nikielezea wasichana yule ambaye ameoleka kwa mume ambayo nikalewa mm -hmm. ninajua vizuri pia yeye atatoka huko <laughs> kwa maana aliweza kuondoka huko kama misiko tulikuwa mm -hmm. nimerudi oshako mm -hmm kiasi kurudiuka kaniambia mimi nimeokoka kuanzia leo nikaona nikamuuliza we nani anaweza kukuombea kaokoka lakini ndani yangu nilikuwa najua siku moja wakati mm. aliokoka nikaambia Mungu tupeleke Kenya na John North Eastern tulikuwa tunasema sio Kenya tupeleke Kenya na nikaongea nikasema Mungu ukinipeleke Loret nitakuwa vizuri tuliweza uh, akaweza kupata hiyo transfer kakuje Loret kaapo kama nimepata mtoto wa ine nikiwa ushako sasa first born alikuwa ameenda uh, nasari nikashukuru Mungu tukakae Loret akatoka hapo ameniwache Loret ameenda amerudi Nairobi mm. kwa maana hapa alikuwa railways wamekuja Nairobi ametuaja hapo mimi ni mama na watoto hapo sasa communication hapo ndio huwa inakuwa shida. Mm -hmm. Kwa ndoa kama mama usipochiamini uangalie mume wako, umuongeleshe vizuri, unaweza mpotesa kama ameenda mbali. Ni vyema umuongeleshe vizuri, ni vyema uelewe yeye ni nani kwa maisha yako. Sasa hapa niko na watoto wanne. Hata kama ameenda siwezi fikiria mambo mengine, lakini ninajua ameenda kasi. Kurudi akaenda Europe akamaliza mwaka niko peke yangu na watoto hatujui tunafanya nini lakini tuko niko tu na watoto lakini ameenda kasi Europe chumi siwezi sema tubebane tuende mimi nilee watoto ninashukuru hao wa mama mabibi ya maafande wale ambao wako na poa kwa maana wamesimama saa hii wamesimama hakuna mwenye anachitingiza kwa maana hata mzaa aende nje tuko na wao tunashikana maana tuko hapo kushikana vile biblia inasema you be your brother's keeper mm -hmm. we are our sister's keeper mm -hmm. tunataka tuchuliane hali anaendeleaje kama mimi mshauri wao ninawafuatilia kila wakati mm -hmm. nijue wameendelea aje wanaongea aje na mume sio kuongea hashiri mm -hmm. you you be humble to your husband you you respect your spouse ili tuendelee kuishi na wao sasa mimi nimekaa hiyo muda yote akatoka Europe hiyo mwaka mzima tukakuja Nairobi. Okay. Ya yeah, ameniwacha Nairobi, akaenda Machakos, ameenda Samburu, mimi niko Nairobi na amefungua kanisa. Mhm. Wakati aliokoka niliomba Mungu akafungua kanisa, sasa hii ni bishop, 
ni mshauri wa maaskari ninashukuru Mungu maana kupitia kwa mikono yake kuna maafande wanapatilika sio vile walikuwa sio kuuana ilikuwa mingi zamani kwa vile tu hatukuwa na media sana wanafuatilia lakini walikuwa wanakufa walikuwa wanauana ya na saizi hata wale ambao wanalewa hii mambo na kulewa nimekuja ku understand wakati nimekaa na maafande wale ambao wanakunywa ni nini haswa inafanya unakunywa sana ni stress ambayo inawasukuma hmm. wanapofanya kazi wanatoka kasini wako na stress wakifika kwa nyumba tena stress inaongezeka jubibi hamuelewi wale ambao wanaishi na wanawake wamechoi ni napoa mabibi zao hata wakienda nje hawawezi kuwa hivyo hata akilewa kuna njia muka atakuja kuongea na yeye atamwambia dadi iko hivyo hata kama umekunywa kula mimi nilikuwa nafika mahali mume wangu namulisha kama mtoto juu sini wangu nikubali kuoleka kwake hmm. na mimi nilikuwa nimeokoka nikitoka kwetu lakini nikaambia Mungu nipe mwenye acha okoka nataka aokoke nikimuona nataka aoshwe nikimuona ndio nikamwambia maombi yako ya Wow. <laughs> na shukuru Mungu kwa maana dapoa imetuleta vizuri pamoja mm. kama wamama wow. wale wanaoleka saa hii wako kwa mikono mizuri kwa maana wanapokuja mume wangu wako hapo saa nashukurika askari kama ni mrefu sana wanampeleka wanampeleka rehab anatoka huko akiwa mzima anafanya kazi vizuri licha ya yale yote tunapitia lakini tunashukuru kukuwa mapibi ya maafwande maana mm-hmm. maafwande ni watu ambao wako caring mm-hmm. by the way they are caring mm-hmm. yeah and we are due for another break but i also want to pick on that note caring mm-hmm. because mara nyingi that's not how the public we mm-hmm. see police officers mm-hmm. but are getting a different feel from oh, yes. what you're saying mm-hmm. all right we are due for that other break we recoil with plenty more of this conversation stay put police officers their first line of duty is service mm-hmm. not even family mm-hmm. what can we do to change that perception let's get it from you well uh, i'd say that's why we are here <laughs> as an apoa to to demystify we bridge the gap between the officers and, and one age mm-hmm. yeah but mm. what i normally say is this if you meet a man outside in uh, what we call in our language civilian clothing mm-hmm. you will not know whether he's an officer or not mm. so somebody will interact with them freely he enters a room go changes puts on his <laughs> police uniform mm-hmm. everything changes mm-hmm. the question is why because uh, personally mm-hmm. i've never seen an officer who does not come from among us they all mm. come from among us i mean they have to yes so meaning apart from just as 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 their wives their families are here their brothers their sisters their cousins their mothers their fathers are all kenyans so i normally ask myself then why the enmity with the uniform and i nowadays i say in fact one of our mantras says they are heroes they are heroes because in this country right now try and picture just half an hour without any officer holding their tough wherever they are want to teach to that just two weeks back what did we see in fact that one uh, you know i i nowadays i tell people the police service is not your normal officer you see on the streets mm-hmm there's much more that, that they do there's much more than we see and so if this guy is a hero they are the reason why we can move from point a to point b yeah. they are the reason why we can get into our homes in the evening after a hard days work mm-hmm. go to sleep peacefully because remember them they are outside keeping the peace mm-hmm. yeah so at the end of everything this is somebody who is our brother our sister 
the enmity between the public and an officer, for example, mm -hmm. is something I've never come to understand. Mm -hmm. But I think if we get to understand that these are the people that make us live our lives the way we are living, mm -hmm. we have the peace that we have because of the service. Mm -hmm. We have the freedom to move from point A to point B because of these guys, mm -hmm. you know. And you know, uh, nowadays I keep saying, it is not the person you'll meet on the street who is just the officer. Mm -hmm. In fact, one, 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 one of the departments that has, has faced a lot of backlash are the traffic police. Mm -hmm. But you know, traffic police is just a department in the police service. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not the entire service. It's not service. the entire. And even the traffic police, we have traffic policemen who are doing their job. Mm -hmm. In fact, they are doing their job because even right now, it is still rush hour. Mm -hmm. Our traffic is moving because there's a traffic police officer standing somewhere. Mm -hmm. The moment he's not there, chaos. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't we give honor to whom honor is due? Mm -hmm. Just appreciate them. And you know, psychologically we are humans. We thrive when you're praised. Yeah. We thrive when somebody actually sees the good and that you're doing. And someone appreciates your efforts at yes, the end of the day. But the trend is that we will see the bad, we will magnify the bad that they do, and not appreciate the little things that they do, mm -hmm. that actually make our lives run normally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we need to start changing that. It's, mm. it's, it's a mindset, I should say. <coughs> it's a we mindset. Start it's a mindset. Shifting that kind yeah. of mind. Mm -hmm. So then what do we do, um, Beryl, in respect to that? Because even, it's actually one of those questions that even my, one of my directors was asking from up there. Mm. It's really a mindset. Mm. And just as uh, Anne is saying, it's not, it's not all police. So you can't really put them in one in basket. basket. Mm. There's just some mm. few rotten here and there. I mean, that's mm. given. It, it's, it cuts across everywhere. everywhere. How mm. do we begin shifting mm. that? So then start looking at police as someone who gives service and mm. we appreciate them for what exactly um, they do mm. as a service. Because honestly at times I feel that Kenyans are not being honest because m most of the time it, it is always the case of, of, of public opinion court being too harsh on the police officers mm. because uh, when you look at, uh, at, 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 at the bomb that happened at, uh, was it the, the Westlands? Mm -hmm. Where Westgate. Yeah, 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 Westgate, yeah, yeah. where the public relied on police officers to protect Deceit. them. Everybody wanted Same protection. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah do see it. That was the, the word I was looking for. Okay. And so, at times I feel they are not being honest with themselves, mm -hmm. the public, because when you say it's a matter of fighting crime, the thieves, the robbers, these are our brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. and the police relies on your information as a person. Mm -hmm to share that information and that was why even the issue of, of community policing was introduced mm -hmm. you know your, your brother is a thief you know your neighbor is a thief and you don't want to surrender that information you expect the police to come and, 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 and get it out from you why why do we why can't we develop that approach of, 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 of also being responsible citizens so that when i know something bad has happened i can't trust the police to go and report uh, the, the incidents because we expect them to work, but they're already working in, in very harsh economic, in harsh conditions. Mm -hmm. We are not able to volunteer information, and that is the best way that they can make the, the, what Nini, the, the work easier. Mm -hmm. Number two, when you hear of cases of, 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 of maybe the public complaining that, oh, there's a robber that was taken in, and after two days they are released, mm -hmm. there's a rule of 24 hours, which means the police can all, cannot hold a suspect for 24 hours without any evidence or without a complaint and coming out mm -hmm. so we go they go and arrest the, the uh, a culprit mm -hmm. nobody comes out to record the, 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 the complaints and after after 24 hours they are forced to to, to release the suspect mm -hmm. and now on the other hand the public will be out there oh they are releasing the suspect after being bribed I think Kenyans just need to appreciate our officers more mm -hmm. because that will and, and as the chair said that will also motivate them to do better mm -hmm. yes to do better mm -hmm. and even ye, ye, yes and that is also why also Napo is, 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 is here mm -hmm. just to be the, the gap to, to to come through these forums and and, and tell them more about the the police.
people and what they do mm -hmm. that they are not as bad even in everything there are always bad apples but that does not mean that you crucify the whole police force I hear you. actually yeah. it really demoralizes them then. I hear you. it demoralizes even their kids mm -hmm. because every now and then they see the police officers does that and that is somebody's dad mm -hmm. that is somebody's husband mm -hmm. that is somebody's sisters mm -hmm. we expect it, yeah 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 it's like they drop from the mass if you say corruption corruption is, is, is for both ways is the giver and the taker mm -hmm. why would you tempt a, a, a police officer by giving money someone would ask why why then would they ask for that money they don't ask they don't ask they don't ask let us be honest. Sure let, they don't yes, ask? No, let us be honest on this set. Okay. Kenyans are, are very peculiar. So this goes both ways. You are charged with a, a traffic offense. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just agree to be charged and, 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 and pay bail? It has to start from us, from the society. Okay. Yeah? We are population of what? 40 million, 45 million? Mm -hmm. Yeah? The total number of, of, of police officers are, are what? So the majority are the, are the citizens. So if at all we want to see a, a change in public perception, mm -hmm. it has to start. Even if you say poor corruption, mm -hmm. we must stop shortcuts. Mm -hmm. We must stop asking for shortcuts and stop blaming the police officers. I hear we you. have the best police officers. I hear we you. have the best police officers. <laughs> that is a fact. I hear you. Yes. And Gladys, but before that, I know you've talked about harsh conditions, and mm -hmm. maybe this might not be within your purview to discuss deeper, particularly into those remunerations, and I totally understand that mm. but I just want to pick your brains mm. particularly on a statement mm. that the president talked about when he was taking oath of office mm. and I think it has also come up again mm. when he said that he wants to and he's committing to this to transfer that budget of the police service from the office of the president where it normally sat to the office of the inspector general mm. saying that this has over time made the police service not to be autonomous or independent as is so mm. in the long term what in your analysis would be the impact of this just transferring and moving from this office to this office i think i think that will be very very good for the police officers mm -hmm. because now maybe it will cut on on, on the bureaucracy that maybe used to happen uh, uh, earlier yeah, yeah and sure. now as a, as, a, as a force maybe now they have their own budget mm -hmm. and it's money that is already here and uh, and and that will go a, a long way in in, in affecting everything mm -hmm. so for us as the wife we we, we are really grateful for that mm -hmm. we are really really grateful for mm -hmm. that for his excellency the president mm -hmm. and the deputy president mm -hmm. we are very very grateful for that. You've really been economical in that response. Yes, very totally very understand. for obvious reason. I get it. I for obvious reason. I understand totally yes. and, resp and respect mm. that as well. Yes. Gladys, pale awali uliko maongea kusu iyo transfer of police. Kama vile kesi yako ilikuwa pale kwa Garissa, wengine Mandera, uko Nairobi, wengine hata uko Uganda. You know, you know, we are, we are an East African bloc and we also we've seen such kind of, you know, cases here and there. So kwa mtazamo wako, ukiangalia the numerous cases tumekuwa tukisikia za either the murder, suicide cases, unaona kama hili ni jambo ambalo pia huwa linachangia? Yeah, hili pia huwa linachangia maana kuna ofisa na pelekwa mahali ambapo ni pakumu kwake uh -huh. chuo kati kati yao maofisa kuna wengine pia ni wakonjwa uh -huh. na napelekwa mahali hali yake haitakuwa nzuri kuna yule akona sukari kuna yule akona pressure kuna wale akona asthma na hizo makonjo simewapata wakiwa ndani ya kikosi uh -huh. haikuwapata wakiwa nje so wakimpeleka mbali anaona afadhali awachane na kasi mwingine ana resign na wacha kasi mwingine anaona wacha tu nikufe jumali ninapelekwa patala ya kufanya mambo mengine huko wacha nikufe na hiyo sasa sisi kama wamama tunaona inatuturu kiasi ni vyema hata wazee wetu na madada zetu ambao wamefaa uniform unajua saa nyingine tukiwa hapa wale wadada wamefaa uniform watasema maybe sisi hatujawaangalia hapana tunaangalia kikosi kizima na kama wamama kwa napoa saizi tumetengeneza kikundi cha uombesi mm -hmm. tunaombea ma officers our officers mm -hmm. na katikati ya ma officer tuko na chapels ambazo zimefunguliwa mm -hmm. na mume wangu ndiye bishop wa chapels Kenya mzima mm -hmm. ya chapel na maanisha raia na maskari tunakuwa pamoja ili raia wakaweze kuelewa maaskari vile wako watu wazuri wasio wanaona tu ni watu wabaya kwa maana wanapokuja 
wanapata kwa hii kanisa kuna uni, mwenye amevaa uniform na ameketi pale na kuna mwingine mwenye si wa uniform na ni raia ambaye ametoka tu kwingine kama kanisa yangu niko na wale wanatoka pande zote ni wa, ma, watoto wa maraia wengine watoto wa maskari wengine ni askari lakini yote tunaona inasaidia ya e, kucha mambo ya watu kuua maybe mabibi unajua hiyo ishu inakuja kwa maana bibi hajajua yeye ni nani ndiposo naona wanakuja vile wenzangu wamesema mm. mume anakuja unafungua mlango amepata stress amepuka iswa stress wao mm. unapofika unafungua mlango na muuliza unatoka wapi wewe ulikuwa tu huko kwa wanawake wengine mm. lakini huyu mtu amekuwa kasi amekuwa na stress juu kasi anawesaenda useme anakuja saa moja jioni na anafika asubuhi saa moja kwa maana alichotwa kwa tunasema ni kuchotwa. Mm -hmm. Amechotwa akapitia huko akaenda kusaidia mahali. Mm -hmm. Maana polisi sio wengi sana vile juu raia tuko wengi. Mm -hmm. Juu sisi mabibi ya maskari ni raia. Raia tuko wengi mm -hmm. na, pare, na tunachungwa na maskari mm -hmm. ambao ni wachache. Mm -hmm. Wengine wako hospitali ni wakonjwa. Mm -hmm. Hatuwezi hesabu wengine wamekufa. Ninashukuru serikali yetu. Okay. Ya, yeah. mm. nashukuru rais wetu. Mm. Kwa maana hata sasa hii kuna wale ambao watatoka, wakuja watusaidie. Mm. Wafili hiyo kapa. Ya, yeah. well, yeah. nashukuru. Asante sana. And you're already struck for time daddy so you have to cap it at this point. But the good news that this can always be an ongoing conversation. To also just appreciate our police mm. men and mm. women, you know, these ladies and gentlemen in uniform. They equally deserve our yeah. respect for exactly. the work they do. Yeah. Nonetheless, thank you so much for your time. Mm. Well appreciated. Mm. I have been speaking to Gladys Mesacha to my extreme left, who is the family councillor. Right next to her is uh, Beryl Otieno, the country director, and also Anne Owiti, just next to me, who is the national chair lady. All this lady coming from the National Police Wives Association. And obviously, they have been talking to us about some of these challenges that wives of police officers face and how to move around this and navigate that all together. Good place to end this conversation. And ultimately, good morning, Kenya, as we sit ground for the um, National Assembly coming in next.